It's travel day, which means we have a lot to do to get ready to hit the road. But our checklist has changed with the new rig. So we're going to try to show you what we go through in order to get hitched up and on the road in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. My name is Patrick. And I'm Patty. And this is another one of those collaboration videos that we do with five of our RV YouTube friends. Uh, no, wait a minute. We have six. Oh yeah, that's right. We're so excited to welcome to our group Ken and Pam from The Roadsmiths. Now, when we get to the end of our video, we put together a playlist with all six of those videos so you can check them out and Patty will be popping that playlist up to the side for you. But not yet. First, we <laughs> want to dive into what our travel day preparations look like. And these things have changed in the last two weeks since we purchased our new Alliance fifth wheel. It's a little bit bigger and a few more things to check off the list but we are slowly trying to come up with our new routine for travel day. And so Patrick, why don't you start by prepping our tow vehicle? All right, let's head outside. The first thing I do to make sure the truck is ready to roll is to make sure the back seat is prepped for Truman and Bess, our Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. And that means I wanna make sure we have our pet protector seat cover on the back seat. Now, this seat cover is from a company called Formosa Covers out in California, and they were so kind to reach out to us and offer us to try one of their pet seat covers. And I have to tell you, I'm so excited they did because I absolutely love this seat cover. Now, it is a quilted material that is like a water protectant. So even if we spill a little water, we can just dab it up. It's not gonna make the seat protector all wet. The other nice thing about this particular cover is not only does it cover the entire seat and down around the sides, but this one goes all the way down and back up. We just strap it to the headrest on the front seat and it creates a barrier between the front seat and the back seat. Now on that side, you'll find storage. We can keep our water bottle there. We could keep anything we want in the big pouch and right here in the center they have sewn in this big mesh area that way the kiddos can still see through and they get really good airflow from the front of the cab i can't thank formosa covers enough for sending us this and allowing us to give it a try here's the thing about formosa covers they don't make just pet covers they honestly make covers for really anything you want to cover whether it's patio furniture atvs lawn mowers bicycles most likely formosa covers has a cover for you so i'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below Below in the description of this video so you can go to their website and check out all of the great covers that they offer up here in the front of the truck there's not a lot to get ready but there's just a few things I like to double check and first thing is to make sure that my tire minder TPMS monitor is where I want it to be and it's plugged in and ready to go I also want to make sure that my phone holder is in place now the reason that's important is I'll stick my iPhone right into this holder and then I'll plug it in we use Apple Maps that we will car play to the actual truck display. And then if we're in an area I've never been to and I'm concerned about things like bridge heights or limits on roads, then I'm gonna also simultaneously be running the navigation system through our Togo app. Now the Togo app will take into consideration things like our trailer length, width, and height, and it will come up with a route that is best for our trailer and that way I have two different maps running just make sure they're both in agreement on where we're going the final thing that I would have typically is have my monitor for my rear camera but I haven't had time since our RV is brand new to actually get our rear camera mounted and installed but eventually I would also check my monitor for that and just make sure we're ready to go once I've done that then basically I'm ready to back up and hitch up before I can do that though we got to make sure Patty has the inside ready to roll. On our travel day, I always make sure everything is secure in the refrigerator. So we use these adjustable tension bars that you can buy and they go easily into the fridge. I want to make sure they're in there tight and that they hold on the side so that nothing slides around. So I kind of adjust and make sure that they're tight so nothing can slide forward like that. When we travel, I need to make sure that anything loose gets put away. So even with our new rig, we're figuring out where things go so that things don't fly around. I've learned you don't want anything flying around and you even have to remember to bring down like your cover to your stove. Okay. We even have to, on this rig, remember to take out, because we never had one of these in the other rig, our glass. Because I noticed yesterday when I opened this up, it was like a stacked locker. It was obviously being smashed around in there, so we're going to put that in its safe place. This I keep out, 
and I use something called Simply Tacky. I do that at school with posters and whatnot. And this can be easily removed when you don't, if you don't want that anymore. You just simply take it up and I can take off the tacky that's underneath and you roll it into a ball and I just go over the surface till it all comes off and it, you don't even know it was there. In our pantry that we have with our new rig, this is really nice because each shelf has a little lip to secure any food items that are that we put in here or any of our things for the pups or other th things. We also, even in our other rig, we like to use shelf liner. It's a little rubbery liner that we put down. It helps keep the crates or any containers or any food kind of in place so it doesn't slide back and forth. We like to use crates, different size ones to contain little items that you keep. Like this is all of like our office supplies. That way when it's up here in the cabinet, things aren't just flying around as you're driving. And we try to even put that shelf liner up here and then this way this gets right in there nice and secure. There's a little lip. I push it back as far as I can and then I can just shut my door and it'll be good to go for as we're going down the road. Something new that we've learned in the new Alliance that we didn't have to do in the other rigs is making sure that the stuff on the floor doesn't get caught in our slide out because our slide out flooring is just the same as that. So you don't wanna get it caught. We noticed that the slide out will come about right here. So this rug down here needs to be rolled up. So I roll it up and then I tuck it underneath the dinette. Okay, Truman, are you helping me? And then I have to roll up their pet bed I just want to make sure things out of the way nothing gets caught in the slide out so i slide it under there and i even have to make sure and we'll do the water dish last won't we buddy but i make sure all of their dog dishes and their stackable go down here along with their little mat three things that we found in our new alliance that we have to make sure we do before we hit the road is these doors. We have to make sure the bedroom door is closed and you hear it click. Our nice barn door here that's in our bathroom, you got to make sure it is hooked. And then the shower door because man I would hate to have to replace this. So you pull it over and you have a secure and I have to hear a snap and I know it's good to go. All right, and at this point now, I am making sure the thermostats are off, that my max air fan is closed, all my windows are closed, and I like to have the blinds down for sun protection. The big hunkamunka TV is strapped in with his strap for secure, and I try to get Patrick in here to do a final walkthrough because even with the new rig and the old rig, I'm like, please double check everything and make sure I got it good for travel. So that's how we currently do it. And I'm sure we're going to adapt to new changes as we learn more about the Alliance. Now I'm going to have Patty pop that playlist right up there for you. <laughs> Check out our other six RV YouTube friends to find out what their travel day prep looks like. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Bye. Bye.